This past life regression is a powerful tool for clearing and cleansing your subconscious mind of negative emotions, pain, and trauma experienced in this lifetime or in other lifetimes. Through the process of past life regression, you can clear, heal, and resolve deep-seated issues within your subconscious mind, which otherwise create blockages and unwanted experiences in life. You can do this regression numerous times. Each time, you will most likely get a different past life. What you are about to experience is very safe, but feel free to open your eyes at any time if you feel stressed or uncomfortable. It is important to remember you are always in control. During the regression, try not to think or analyze anything. You can analyze it later, but for now, just observe. Don't be concerned with what might be imagination, fantasy, metaphor, symbol, or actual memory. It does not matter. Just observe it as if you would a TV show or a movie. Go ahead and get comfortable. Getting comfortable is very important. So loosen anything if it is too tight, making yourself as comfortable as possible. Once you are nice and comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes and start by focusing on your breathing. As you are breathing, imagine that you are breathing in beautiful healing energy. This energy is around you all the time. Feel it as it comes into your body. When you breathe out, imagine that you are breathing out stress, negativity, and any of the tensions that you store in your body. And so breathing out stress and breathing in beautiful healing energy as your whole body relaxes deeper and deeper. And starting at the top of your head, start by relaxing all of the muscles around your eyes and your jaw. So soft, so relaxed. Letting go of all tightness and tension in these muscles and the muscles of your neck and shoulders, relaxing completely. With each breath, getting more and more relaxed. Each time you hear my voice, I want you to go just a little bit deeper, getting deeper and deeper relaxed. Let my voice carry you deeper and deeper relaxed. Let any background noises or thoughts or distractions only deepen your level of relaxation. You can go very deep. And relaxing the muscles of your arms and of your back, both the upper and your lower back, as you go deeper and deeper into a beautiful state of serenity and peace and calm. Know that this deep state of peace is very healthy for you. Healthy for your body and healthy for your mind. Know that this peacefulness, which is always there for you, just below the surface, is very healthy for you. And now, relaxing completely the muscles of your stomach and abdomen so that your breathing stays perfectly calm. And now, relaxing your legs so that only your chair or couch or bed supports you. Going deeper and deeper relaxed. And next, visualize, imagine, or feel a beautiful light above your head. 
and this is a wonderful healing light. Healing because it gets rid of illness, disease, and discomfort everywhere in your body. And it is a relaxing light, bringing you to a deep level of relaxation and serenity. Now, let this beautiful light come into your body through the top of your head, illuminating your brain and spinal cord and flowing down from above like a beautiful wave of light, touching every cell of your body, every fiber, every tissue, every organ of your body with peace and love and healing. And the light fills your heart, your beautiful heart, healing your heart at all levels, and your heart gently pumping this light to reach everywhere in your body, bringing incredible healing and peace, and deepening your state of relaxation even more. Let yourself go even deeper. See the light as it fills all of the abdominal organs, healing and restoring them to perfect health. Getting rid of illness, disease, and discomfort. And the light fills your back and heals the bones, organs, muscles of your back. Let the light be very strong very powerful, wherever you need it for healing. And the healing will continue even after you are awake, until it is completed and you are restored to perfect health. And let the rest of the light flow down both legs as it reaches all the way to your feet, bathing your body in its beautiful healing energy. Let yourself go even deeper. And next, imagine, visualize, or feel that the light also completely surrounds the outside of your body, as if you were wrapped in a beautiful bubble or cocoon of light. It wraps around you and heals your skin protecting you completely and deepening your level of relaxation even more. In a few moments, when I count down from 10 to 1, go so deep that your mind is no longer limited by the usual barriers of time or space. So deep that you can remember every experience you have ever had whether in this body or in any other body or even in between physical bodies. You can remember everything. So deep that you can experience all levels of your beautiful multi-dimensional self because you are far, far greater than your body or your brain. You are beautiful and an immortal spiritual being. You are always loved. You are never alone and you can never be harmed, not at this level. 10, 9, 8, going deeper and deeper with each number down, 7, Six, five, deeper and deeper and deeper, four, three, a beautiful level of peace and serenity, two, one, good. In this beautiful state of calm, imagine now that you are walking into a beautiful garden, a wonderful spiritual garden filled with wonderful flowers and plants and other beautiful things. 
It is a garden that is a sanctuary for you, a haven of perfect peace, perfect safety, bliss, joy, love, and you find a place to rest in this beautiful garden. Your body filled with the light, the beautiful healing light, you continue to heal, to recuperate, to rejuvenate in the deepest, deepest levels of your mind can open up. You can remember everything. To show you this, let us begin going backwards in time. At first, a little bit, and then more, and more. In a few moments, when I count down from five to one, let yourself remember a childhood memory. If you wish, you can keep it a pleasant or happy childhood memory, or perhaps an important one. You can remember everything. Let this memory from when you were a child come into complete focus as I reach the number one. Don't try to edit, just allow yourself to remember. Whatever comes into your awareness is fine. Five, remembering a childhood memory, keeping it pleasant or happy if you wish. Four, coming more and more into focus you can remember everything. Three, two, a childhood memory. One, be there with this memory and pay attention to any details, such as location. Is this at home or someone else's home? Are you in a particular room? Are you inside, outside, at school? What do you become aware of? What do you look like? Are you visualizing it, hearing it, feeling it? Perhaps it's just a smell. However you are experiencing it, it is okay. If there are other people around, they may appear younger to you because they were younger then. And if you need to go deeper, to focus a memory even more, to remember in even more detail, just take a beautiful breath or two and you'll remember even more. It will become even sharper and even better focus. However, if there's any anxiety, remember that you can just detach and float above the scene and watch from a distance as if you're watching a movie or even go back to the beautiful garden from before. If you are very anxious, just open your eyes. But if you're fine, if you're okay, stay with it. Pay attention to the details. Breathe yourself deeper and deeper into the experience, into the memory, and experience this childhood memory once again. Perhaps it's something you have not thought about or remembered for a long time. Sometimes 
a childhood memory is connected to other memories from childhood. There may be a series or a pattern of connections, and it is okay to remember these other memories as well. Whatever comes into your mind, or not, is fine. It is okay. Pay attention to details, and you can remember much, much more than a childhood memory. And so, just float above this memory for now, feeling so free and so light, but you are still with the memory. And in your mind, just for a moment or two, let yourself understand the importance of this memory to you now. Why, from all of the hundreds or even thousands of memories that could have come into your mind, into your awareness, why was it this one? Is it trying to tell you something? To remind you of something? Or someone? Why this memory? What is its importance to you now? And now we are ready to go back farther in time. Back before your birth into your present body. When you were in utero in your mother's womb. Many people have accurately recalled from this time and place. And even if you think it may be imagination or fantasy, let yourself nevertheless experience it. Because oftentimes, it's more than that. And so, as I once again count backwards from five to one, go back to that in utero time before your birth, the prenatal time in your mother's womb, and just see if you can become aware of any physical sensations or impressions, or sometimes Emotions are present, yours or your mother's, because you are so closely bonded at this time, or even of your father's, because consciousness is not limited to the physical body or brain. Five, going back to the in utero prenatal time. Four, whether imagination fantasy, or memory, it does not matter. Three, do you become aware of any physical sensations or impressions? Let yourself become so focused when I reach one that you can answer that question. Two, nearly there. One, be there in your mother's womb, what do you become aware of now? Are there any physical sensations or impressions? Perhaps some emotions are present, yours or your mother's or perhaps even your father's. Sometimes spiritual wisdom is available at this time. Why are you choosing these parents in this life to come? What lessons 
Are you coming back here to this earth school to learn and to master as you evolve along your spiritual path? Why are you choosing these parents, this life, these lessons? In a few moments, when I count from one to three, go through your birth, but no pain at all, no discomfort at all. Just to remember this important event Remember, no pain, no discomfort. One, being born, no pain, no discomfort at all. Two, three, you're out, you're born. And what do you become aware of now? Are there any differences in noises or temperature or people being around? Perhaps your mother is there or your father or both. How does it feel? Feel the love that's there at this time. Life was so much more simple at this moment, just pure love. You didn't have to perform or earn, it's just there. Perhaps you have forgotten. And now, just float above this scene once again, feeling so free and so light. And we are ready to go further back in time, back into a past life, or even a spiritual dimension, if that is what you need to experience. And so, as you float above this scene, back in this beautiful space, imagine or visualize a beautiful door that is closed. And this is a doorway into your past lives. On the other side of this beautiful door is a magnificent light. A light that does not hurt your eyes. On the other side of the light is a scene or a person, an experience, a past life. Join this scene or this person completely as I count down from five to one. And as I reach one, you will reach that scene, that person, that experience, that past life, and join it completely. You can remember everything Five, the door begins to open. You become aware of the beautiful light on the other side of the door, and this light pulls you to it. It attracts you. There's something for you to learn on the other side of this door, on the other side of the light. Four, you move through the light closer and closer to the scene the experience on the other side of the light. Three, coming closer, more and more into focus. About to join the scene, the person, the experience. Two, nearly there now. One, be there. If you find yourself in a body, look down at your feet and observe the kind of footwear 
if you have any on, whether shoes or boots or sandals or fur slippers or perhaps nothing at all, just your feet. And pay attention to any details such as your hands, the size, the shape, color, or the clothes if you are wearing any, styles, textures, colors. Perhaps they indicate a particular historical time or culture. And pay attention to any details such as geography. Do you see mountains? A desert? A forest? Ocean? River? What do you become aware of? Pay attention to if there are any buildings. Maybe it's a cave. Was this thousands of years ago or more recent? What do you become aware of? And if you find other people, observe how they are dressed or what they are doing. And if you get close enough to another person, observe their face or their eyes or sense their energy. Do they seem familiar to you in any way? Do you know them? Do you recognize them? And you can move forwards or backwards through time in that experience to learn even more. In a few moments, when I count down from one to three, go to the most important or significant event or events of that life. One, two, three, you are there. Another important time in that life, in that experience, what is happening to you? What do you become aware of? Are there other people around? And if so, do you recognize or know them? Do they seem familiar to you in any way? Explore even more in that experience. Perhaps there are other details or memories events in that life, in that time, that will help you to understand, to heal. In a few moments, when I count from one to three, go to the very end of that lifetime, to the very last moments or the last day, but with no pain no discomfort, just remember how you left that time, that place, 
that experience. No pain, no discomfort. This is about learning. No pain, no discomfort. The very end. One, two, three. You are there. Don't think, don't analyze, don't critique, just experience it. What is happening now? Are there other people around? Often there are at these important times. What do you become aware of? And now, just float above that scene, above that body. Perhaps you can look down and observe the scene that you have just left, the physical body that you have just left. And in your mind, just for a few moments, let yourself understand the lessons of that experience, of that lifetime. What did you learn from it? What were its lessons for you? And how do those lessons connect to you now in your current life? What are the connections? Does this help you to understand something or someone? And now you feel free and light. You've left that body, that time that place, so free, so peaceful, so light. Understanding its lessons and the connections, and imagine that a beautiful spiritual being, however you conceptualize this, a beautiful spiritual being, like a master or a guardian angel or a guide, or a loved one who loves you unconditionally, someone very, very wise and very loving, comes to visit you as you float in this beautiful space. Imagine that you can communicate with them, whether in words or thoughts or images or visions, or mind-to-mind -mind contact, you can communicate. Are there any messages for you? Is there any knowledge, wisdom, understanding that will help you to remove any blocks and obstacles to your inner peace and joy and happiness in your current life? What do you need to know to feel happier and more joyful? What do you need to understand? Can they tell you? Can they show you? Are there any messages for you? And soon it will be time to return to full waking consciousness. But you'll remember everything that you experienced. The childhood memory, the in utero experience, if you had one, 
what happened on the other side of the door in the light. The messages, the wisdom, the knowledge. And most importantly, that you are a spiritual being. And so saying goodbye to your spiritual friend for now, but they are always with you. They are always there. Even when you are not aware, they are there. You are always loved. You are never alone. And now rejoining your body in the garden, your body filled with the light has been healing and recuperating and restoring and is filled with a beautiful, peaceful energy. So soft, so beautiful. And now feeling yourself back in your body completely, grounded in your body, I will bring you back to full waking consciousness. In complete control of your body and mind, wake and alert by counting up from one to ten. And with each number up, you'll be more and more awake, more alert. By ten, completely awakened, alert, and in full control of your body and mind, feeling great, filled with this beautiful, soft energy, remembering everything that you just experienced, all the way back, one, two, three, gently awakening now, four, five, six, more and more awake and alert, feeling great, feeling wonderful, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, good, let your eyes open and stretch if you feel like it, and come all the way back to full waking consciousness, good, what did you experience? Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, what you experienced, and if you want to see some of my videos that I, past life regressions that I did on myself, you can click right here. And yeah, I hope to see you again sometime. Take care. Bye-bye.